You said the blue beetle was pretty pretty good, so I, I I'm gonna take your word for it. I'm gonna pop this open. All right, let's give it a go. This should be fun. I I really want that card back. And let me just turn on the air conditioning. It's uh, it's it's like it's like a hundred degrees in my apartment. Let me just turn on the AC real quick. I'm back, I'm back. Space, Sector 2. Long, long ago. The end is near for the citizens of Space Sector 2. The military rallies their final defenses. Their tanks take aim at the invader. But they stand no chance against Kaiji Kai of the Reach. Okay, Reach Infiltrator versus Defense Commander. So are, are we the bad guys? Yeah, why not both? You know what? That That's the plan today. I'm going to try to get some free stuff. We're going to open a bunch of uh, card packs. I'm really hoping to get Cyborg and Aquaman. You know, no guarantees, but that's what I'm going for today. Those are the two last leader cards that I do not have. Okay, so these are brand new cards I've never seen. Summon the Reach uh, in your empty front row spaces. Okay, that would work. Deal five damage to uh, an enemy. Summon the Reach. Give friendly recruits everywhere uh, minus three, minus three friendly recruits. Okay. KO an enemy recruit. Charge your leader three times. Okay. Let's start here with this. Okay, so we are summoning the Reach here. I feel like we're the bad guys in this, am I right? Deal 5 damage to an enemy recruit. KO an enemy recruit and charge your leader 3 times, or deal 5 damage to... Okay. So I think we want to KO this recruit here. Oh, and now he's charged. Deal 10 damage to an enemy? Oh boy. It's fun because it's so different. It's so different than the normal game mode. It looks like I can play that twice. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, no, maybe not. I, I'll wait till next turn. I'm exhausted. Right? Yeah, I'm exhausted. It it allows them though to branch out and do so much. Wow, they're dropping so many cannons on us. Ooh. Uh, deal five damage to each enemy recruit and summon the reach. Let's do that. I've never played a collective card game, uh, 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 yeah, CCG before. Uh, I'm a DC fan, so the comics are always fun for me, dude. Me too. I mean, I'm 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 a movie I'm a movie and TV guy, but I I've yeah ever since I was like five years old, I've loved superheroes. I used to like get up super early in the morning to tune in to like <laughs> all different uh, shows and uh, like you know when I was growing up in middle school, it was like Toonami. Um, Dragon Ball Z, Gundam Wing, stuff like that. Uh, but I, I used to love Sunday morning cartoons, getting up early. All right. Give Reach Infiltrator plus 10 this turn. Okay. Maybe we'll take out at least one of these tanks here. But, oh, man. I, th I feel like we got to take... Ooh. Give enemy... Okay. Let's give our enemy recruits minus 3, minus 3 everywhere. Okay. 
10 damage to an enemy. Okay, this guy will stay alive. Because uh, he's only going to do 5. We're at 6. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay, so now we're now we're probably dead then. Yeah, he's dropping a lot of cannons on us. Ooh, what do we got here? Ten damage to a random enemy. Uh give your uh Okay, let's go with that, I guess. All right, I guess we can play this. This is going to give our infiltrator plus 10 and he's invincible. Um, still leaves this guy, but we'll do 10 damage at the end of the turn. So that's a, that's a pretty good start. Okay, so we've cleared the board. Wow, this is so interesting. This is so interesting. It's so it's so different. Back and forth, back and forth. KO all recruits and summon reach battleships. Okay. Whoa! That wasn't. That was super uh, overpowered. <laughs> that was a little overpowered, I would say. All right, but let's go. Okay, he's getting he's 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 pretty close to death here. Unless he can do the same thing to us. <laughs> watch him watch him play like a hellblaze type of thing. Ooh. Alright, we'll take five damage here and there. Alright, I think if we just clear a lane here, we can get him. So let's clear a lane. That's 13, that is another 13, and we can just finish it off here with our infiltrator friend. And there it is, okay. Man, that was so interesting. It's like you don't know what's in the cards. Uh, any remaining uh, resistance is soon snuffed out. Uh, Kai Jai Kai started as a small scarab that infiltrated and attached itself to a citizen of this planet as a parasite, all culminating in this day when the Reach's invasion is completed. Soon the planet is cocooned by Reach Hive Masters. A new scarab, Kaijai Da, sets off across the galaxy to find the next world to invade. The Guardian of Sector 2 is all too familiar with the threat of the Reach. A blast from his ring damages the Scarab. The damaged Scarab malfunctions and launches itself to the far side of the universe. And there is planet Earth. Before crashing down on an insigni insignificant blue planet. Oh man, I love that. <laughs> I love that. So meta. Oh, okay, so these are like the Mayan temples or something 500 years ago. Okay, cool. I wonder where because I've actually I've been to some of the some of the temples in uh, Mexico City. Uh, I went to uh, El Paso High School for the end is near uh, for Jamie Reyes. But I, I've been to Teotihuacan, in, in, uh, which is like an old Mayan temple. Jamie Reyes, high school sophomore. 
the jocks celebrated their victory and their pummeling of Jamie until Paco arrives. Paco Testas, high school dropout and Jamie's second best friend. Paco warns the bullies that if they mess with Jamie, they mess with him. With the jocks uh, dealt with, Paco asks Jamie if he's ready for their friend Brenda Del Vecchio's quinceanera and offers to give Jamie a ride. Okay, what to do until the quinceanera? Okay, so let's see what the perks here are. At the start of the game, create a free Paco in your hand. At the start of the game, draw two cards. When you play a recruit, uh, adjacent characters get plus one shield. I don't know how Paco, how strong Paco is going to be. I think the card draw is probably the best. I just feel like generally card, card draw is underrated. Later that day, across town, a group of villains known as the Brotherhood of Evil ransack a factory owned by the local crime lord, La Dama. While Warp and Plasmus eviscerated the hired muscle. Phobia interrogates one of the men, scourging his mind for the ancient relic she's searching for. Inside the man's backpack, she finds what she's been seeking. The Blue Scarab. A sudden explosion blasts open the door to the factory. Making way for La Dama's forces, Bone Crusher, Brutale, Coyote. The villains clash with one another. Nearby, Paco and Jamie make their way to their friends, uh, to their friend Brenda's quinceanera. As they drive, a nearby factory erupts into flames. As Warp flees, red backpack in hand. He is uh, waylaid by Bone Crusher. The backpack flies into Paco's back seat. Ooh, that had the blue scarab, I think. As Coyote and Plasmus continue to crash. To clash. Bone Crusher slams Paco, knocking him out cold. Jamie darts off with the backpack to distract the villains from Paco. They give chase. Brutale sends out a fan of razors, one of which pierces the backpack. The scarab inside the bag reacts. Oh, it fuses with Jamie. The scarab and Jamie fuse, merging into Blue Beetle. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <sighs> but yeah, this, so this is actually my second uh, collectible card game. I would say my first, I mean, I grew up playing Magic the Gathering a little bit. But just, I didn't, I didn't play online or anything. I just, you know, had cards. But I would say, I, I, I put that down for like over a decade. And then I, I, I picked up Snap a couple months ago, about three months ago. So this is my second, like, second or third collectible card game. Uh, I never really ended up, I never really played like Pokemon or anything when I was growing up. Um, okay, well, we're going to send these back for now. Hoping to draw some bigger cards later. Oh, Okay. Well, uh, interesting starting hand here. Uh, maybe we'll just wait for now. Two damage to each champion. Oh, they got the inmates, huh? Deal three damage to an enemy. Uh, recruit Blue Beetle's damage increases when you play a gold card. Ooh, interesting. And give Blue Beetle an upgrade. So, okay, if we keep this alive, it'll upgrade this guy. And this guy, every two charges, can do some damage. Okay. Well, let's definitely keep the, the Beetle alive then. He's back to full health, and we can play our Misfit card. And we can actually make him a little bit less threatening. Um, yeah, that'll actually keep uh, Silas alive a little bit longer. Oh, 
I was hoping our hunter card would stay alive. But that's okay. Um, let's clear the board here. We'll draw a card. No bronze to play. Let's go for uh, Brutale for now. Oh, wait. We can't play him because uh, there's no recruits. There's no recruits on the board. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait till later. Gotta go finish up some work. Yeah, hey. Well, Ask the Heal. Thank you so much for tuning in, man. Uh, good, to, good to have you uh, as part of the community and uh, catch you soon. Oh, he keeps having these free cards he's playing. Okay, well, we're definitely going to need to do this upgrade here. Let's see what comes out. So now, we've increased the Blue Beetle. I guess his attack damage here. And we're going to put uh, this guy here in a straight jacket. Let's play Blue Beetle here. Let's see what he does now. Alright, three damage. Um, I guess we'll just draw a card here. He's down to one. He can... Uh, Yikes, he's going to be pretty strong next round. He's going to get this plus eight here. Hmm. Oh, wow. They got some big cards they're putting up on the board here. if it's too early to play cyborg here oh we got some extra health there that was nice okay Oh boy. Yikes. Okay. Um, we'll start here with Cyborg. He'd actually play another tactics card here. I think we go here. Uh, and we'll probably go build a new next turn, but we'll see what happens. Firepower plus one, and a bunch of these freebies. Oh, they might be going for the scarab here. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, we gotta protect the scarab. Oh no! They knocked out the scarab! Yikes. Ooh. Okay, let's do this first. So we're gonna have a second blue beetle now. And we're gonna clear the board here. So we got a second blue beetle now, which is great. And now we can just go right for Brutale, I imagine. And we're, we're getting a lot closer now. Okay, our turn here. We're gonna go with build a new. We'll deal seven damage to recruit, perfect. And it looks like we actually take some health from that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we, we heal from that, which is real strong. Draw all gold cards uh, in the top five cards of your deck. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. Now we got some damage to distribute here. That's a KO. And we got Bone Crusher on the ropes here. I think we can take out Bone Crusher possibly next turn. Oh, he's gonna put yeah, that dude's gone. We're gonna clear him real real quick. Can't protect Invincible. Huh. Well that's fine. All we gotta do is clear a lane here, that's all. So this is over. This is over right here. And there it is. All right, let's keep it rolling here. Blue Beetle comic adventure. With the two villains subdued, Jamie hears a voice in his head. Finish them. Jamie shakes it off and rushes to help Paco. As he returns to aid his friend, Jamie wonders how they'll get away from these villains. Enabling flight mode. And they take flight. Meanwhile, cuando viene es Jamie. Brenda Del Vecchio, birthday girl, Jamie's first best friend. Uh, Amparo Cardenas, Brenda's filthy rich aunt. <laughs> her aunt unsuccessfully attempts to set her up with every boy at the party. Brenda's best friend, Jamie, and Paco are nowhere to be found. Suddenly, the security guards scramble to protect Brenda's aunt. As Blue Beetle and Paco arrive, Jamie sets Paco down and attempts to explain himself to Brenda and Miss uh, Cardenas. Jamie tries to explain who he is, but the scarab makes him nauseous. Silence. Do not reveal your identity. Jamie struggles to speak. Do not compromise the mission. Blam, blam. The guards open fire on Blue Beetle. Deploying countermeasures. The scarab drones quickly subdue the security guards. Desperately, uh, desperate not to hurt his friend, Jamie flees, the, the, uh, flees to the sky. Across town, upon returning to his neighbor Jamie, uh, 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 sorry, upon returning to his neighborhood, Jamie tries to understand what the scarab is. I am the scarab, uh, Kajita. You are my uh, organic host. Jamie then asks for the scarab to detach from him. There is no d uh, disconnecting from an 
from an organic host. Desperate, Jamie struggles to free himself from the scarab. Error, error, error. Okay, so now we're actually fighting the scarab here. This is cool. We're fighting ourselves. <laughs> we're, the, we're, we're fighting the alien thing stuck to our back right now. Oh, wow. He's got a whole bunch of stuff to play here. Uh, deal one damage to each enemy. Draw a card. Deal three damage to an enemy. Uh... And each other enemy in its lane. Ooh. You get plus two firepower this turn and plus three firepower. Okay, cool. You know what? Let's 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 take it. Let's take it. Keep all. I've got a I've got an idea here. Maybe we play the firepower into uh, the deal three damage to an enemy. In, uh, okay. Yeah, let's go with that for now. This this should do some damage here. Oh, so in its lane. Okay, I thought it'd be all front row, but I guess it just did the the column here. All right, that's cool. Memory module. Scrambler module. Your opponent draws a random card, then draws a card. Hmm. Heal one damage from each of your other modules. Your opponent draws three cards. Okay, we're gonna go for this memory module first. But there's nothing we can play at the moment, so we'll just keep rolling. Oh, give your modules plus three. Okay, so they're healing a little bit here. We got we, we need some cards to play. Okay, well we can uh, deal four damage to uh, a random enemy. I guess we can start with that. Draw three cards. Uh, deal three damage to an enemy and draw a card. Okay. I think we want to... Ooh. Damage dealt to malfunctioning modules also dealt to the other modules. Okay, actually, maybe we want to do this first. Okay, that's that's that was a pretty good card. Seek a card in your deck or deal one damage to each enemy and draw a card. Let's do that. Um, okay, I think that's all we can do for now. We are fighting ourselves right now. Ooh. Deviled68, thank you so much for the fall, man. How, how's your day going? Hope you're having a good day. We are currently just doing the uh, comic book adventures for DC Dual Force. I believe in you. Here we go. We can pull this off. We can do it here. All right. Let's see if we can pull a silver that we can use here. Or possibly a gold for next turn. Firepower plus three. I guess that's for the rest of the game. I wonder if that's worth it versus just this turn. Seek a card in your deck. Okay. I'm going to play this for now. I think over the course of the game, hopefully that'll make sure that we... Okay, as long as this stays alive, I guess. We'll have that firepower plus three. We got this. Come on. But these, these missions are really interesting, I will say. Because, like... Oh... Man, they keep knocking everything out we put down. 
Oh. Three damage to an enemy and each enemy in its lane. Okay, so here's what we're going to do first. We're going to play this free card. And we're going to hit this card in the back because whatever damage we do to this card is going to do damage to the rest of everywhere else. Okay, we got we we're making some progress here. And deal three deal, deal four damage to a random enemy. Okay, let's go with that. Three damage to an enemy card, uh, and we're gonna draw a card. Let's go here. That should clear a lot more. We're gonna clear two more of these guys. Wow, we we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, okay, cool. Just gotta survive a little bit longer. Deal eight damage to enemies in the same lane as Jamie's will. Okay. Oh, I wish that was clear for us. We could clear a path there. All right, that's it for now. We're almost there. We're almost there. We just gotta survive this turn, and I think we'll be there. Okay, they're gonna KO this. Okay, now there's a spot here. That's kind of perfect, actually. All right, perfect. Let's drop Jamie's will here in this lane. That's going to do at least eight damage. Deal three damage to an enemy and each other enemy in its lane. That actually might be the K. Well, won't be the KO. Eight will bring him down to four, but we're almost there. We're real close. He's down to four. And there it is. Oh! There it is, Deviled. We pulled it off. Heck yeah. With the final push, Jamie is able to remove the Blue Beetle suit. Alerted by the sounds of a struggle, Jamie's family uh, find him. The suit is gone, but the Scarab is still bonded to Jamie. The next morning... I am uh Jamie is abruptly awoken when his mother spots the scarab. Jamie's mother assumes the scarab is a gang tattoo. <laughs> his mother heard that Paco went missing last night after the party and doesn't want Jamie mixed up in the same kind of trouble. Jamie is troubled to hear this news since when he left the party, Paco was safe with Brenda. He needs to find Paco. Scanning telecommunications. Target located. Hypersonic wings. Upgraded blaster. Reinforced uh, carap carapace. Choose an upgrade. Uh, after you activate blue beetle, draw a card. After you activate blue beetle, deal one damage uh, to all enemy recruits. Let's do that. Across town, the Brotherhood of Evil have returned, including their leaders, Silverback. Continuing their search for the Scarab, their hunt leads them to... Paco. Scroom. Only Blue Beetle can stop them. Alright, let's go! Alright, we're playing Silverback and Phobia here. Heck yeah. You know, the fun thing about this mode is, you know, 80% of the cards you're playing with, you, you don't know what is going to come out. You don't know what's going to be in your hand. So it's it's kind of like, I feel like new players and uh, uh, established players alike are kind of dealing with the same situation. You're like, what does this do? How can I stack these cards? What, do I, what What's going on here? Ooh. Blue Beetle Hunter. After you play a card, uh, a gold card, charge your leaders. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, we're going to send these two back for now. And we'll protect our uh, our scarab here for the moment. And we'll try to try to get those upgrades as best we can.
Brotherhood of Evil were the only villains in the budget. <laughs> yeah, they ran out of money. <laughs> that's hilarious. They're like, that's 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 all we can uh, that's all we can afford. Sorry. All right. Well, we can't uh, we can't play this actually because there's no recruits on the board. We got a lot of gold cards, but nothing we can drop at the moment. Uh, we'll just do uh, three damage and call it a turn, I think, because we can only uh, only attack recruits, which is which is an interesting uh, which is an interesting mechanic. Oh, what do they got here? Okay, your recruits with, an uh, with hunter get ambushed this turn. Oh, knocking them out. Okay. And Scarecrow. Well, let's just knock him. Uh, we'll knock out... Uh, first, let's upgrade. Alright, so we got some kind of upgrade here. I think the upgrade is uh, our damage heals Blue Beetle, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we got some attack, actually, from that. That's interesting. All right, we're gonna add hunter or huntress here rather in the front, um, and then we'll play blue beetle and uh, Renee next turn. We also have this uh, straight jacket. If they drop anybody too big, we can just uh, disarm them. Oh, they disarmed. Oh, they oh they arrested us and made it a gold card. Wow, that was pretty strong. Um, well then. All right, let's just take out this dude for now. It seems like uh, whenever we use this ability now, we're getting three attack. Um, and I think what I'm going to do here is... Blue Beetle. We'll play this card as well. We'll get some gold cards now we can play. Um, I will say... Build a new is kind of nice because we've got that attack. What is this guy going to do? Fire four shots to deal. Okay, so he's kind of like Joker. Fire four shots to deal one damage to random enemies. All right, that's fine. And they got a guard on, on the board now. And Bane. All right, we got to take out Bane ASAP. So that, that's going to charge our leaders now. And now we should be able to take out Bane pretty easily. Does that count as a... I don't think that's a tactics card. But if we play one more tactics card here, we can actually uh, play Cyborg again. Clear the board. Lovely. Oh, well, just about. Uh, we can also take another upgrade here. And let's go for uh, Phobia here. And we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still cracking up about this is the only <laughs> villains in the budget. I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. <laughs> uh, cause, probably because it's true. You ever, you ever heard that expression, in in, uh, in comedy there is truth? It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the story, yep. Okay, we'll heal our blue beetle. We are gonna uh, use our straight jacket on uh, Brainiac. We can take him out without taking any damage here. Um, I'm gonna play Signal, we'll have an ambush card. Oh wow, and we can actually charge our leader now. So let's see what this does. This might heal us now, because we've upgraded twice. 
Oh, no, it just does six damage now. Okay, well, that's still pretty good. Um, we can definitely take out Phobia. And then we can turn our attention to Silver back here. And we got another bandage. Uh, who needs it? I think we'll give it to Blue Beetle. Yeah, let's give it to Blue Beetle here. But we're, we're just about there. Ooh. That's all you got? <laughs> oh, they're not even protecting their leader? Come on, what are you guys doing? You're not even protecting your leader card? Come on now. These guys playing like like noobs. Oh, you know, we can even just clear this card. See ya. All right, and this this should be it here. These noobs, they don't even protect their leader card. Come on now. <laughs> uh, even the AI doesn't care about protecting the Brotherhood of Evil. <laughs> Yo, got him. You got him. Uh, Jamie tries to catch his breath after defeating the Brotherhood. <laughs> the low-budget Brotherhood. But the, but the Scarab Mask makes it hard to breathe. Get off! Just as his mask retracts, Paco emerges and is shocked to see Jamie under the armor. Suddenly, the scarab takes over. Mission compromised. Struck. Jamie watches in horror as his friend falls to the ground. Jamie pleads with the scarab to save Paco's life. Negative trauma to severe. Jamie refuses to let his friend die. Air medical resources reserved for host. Do it! A small hole opens up in Jamie's hand. And a new scarab emerges. Placed directly on wound. Oh, so is, is Paco about to become a blue beetle too? Just as soon as Jamie applies the new scarab, an ambulance arrives. The medics tell Blue Beetle to back off so they can save Paco's life. Guilt-ridden, Jamie takes off. El Paso uh, General Hospital. Brenda and Jamie look in on Paco, helplessly hoping their friend recovers. Brenda's aunt approaches Jamie. Miss Cardenas requests that Jamie accompany her to her home office. Casa Cardenas. Jamie nervously eyes the collection of ancient relics in Miss Cardenas' office. She tells Jamie that the most impressive piece is the carpet he's sitting on. Mystical energy rises from the carpet, blinding Jamie in place. Alert, non-rational energy source. Surge. Activating defenses. Brenda's aunt reveals that she is La Dama and she intends to take the scarab from Jamie one way or the other. Oh, we're taking on the evil aunt. Let's go. It's the Thanksgiving brawl right here. <laughs> Some, but somebody started talking politics, and then this, this is the Thanksgiving brawl right here. <laughs> Alright, Jamie versus Aunt here, who I, I guess has mythical powers. Alright, let's draw a card. We'll send this back for now. I think I'll keep the other two. Ooh, a lot of, a lot of, okay, a lot of silver here. Um... Let's protect the scarab for now. We'll draw a card. Create 10 magical spells? What? Ambush. Alright, well we're definitely going to take out this ambush card because that's way too strong. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, because he's got ambush. We can't even take him out. Ooh, that's not good. But that's okay, because actually, we'll be able to use uh, this three damage to take him out later on, hopefully. Uh, and let's let's play uh, Wayne Tech Engineer, and hopefully, uh, we can uh, start to find something better to take him out with. Create a shiv in your hand. Okay. Oh, what they use? Uh, look like straight straight jacket. I guess not. Oh. All right, two damage to a champion here. I think we start by just taking this dude out. We'll put a Huntress on the board. We'll put Nightshade on the board. And that's our turn. Coyote. Ooh, minus four, minus one. That 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 hurts a little bit. Let's get an upgrade here for Blue Beetle. Um, I think we just put this dude in a stray jacket. So now he's harmless. Your recruits with uh with Hunter get ambushed this turn. Okay. We're not we're not totally there yet, but we're we're, we're making some progress here. But uh, apparently, she's gonna draw like a million spells here. <laughs> La Dama. Give enemy recruits minus two, minus one, and draw a magical spell. So, all right, our huntress now is nullified. Another coyote here, and minus three coming up. Ooh, takes out the huntress. Okay. And they're going to exhaust our recruits. Alright, we took a little bit of heat on that, but not, not nothing we can't handle. And, uh... We'll play Jamie in the back here. Followed by Mr. Terrific. We got a bandage here. We'll use that after we take out this guy. And we're 7-7. Seven, seven. Let's take out this guy. We'll clear their board. Uh, we'll heal Jamie. And that's it. We're looking pretty good. Ambush. Okay. Raja Gould. I'm gonna just give uh, Blue Beetle a lot of strength here. Oh, I thought he'd go. I thought he'd go pat. Last time I did this, he had extra health. Okay, we're almost there, and we got to upgrade next turn. And the weird thing is, once again, they're not protecting their leader card. So I don't know. I don't know if that's intentional or. Okay, we got an upgrade due here. Uh, we'll drop Cyborg first. That'll clear the board. Uh, and all we gotta do here is just KO uh, Dama here. 
Pretty straightforward. With the final swing, Jamie subdues La Dama, and he jets away from the scene. Rhea's residence. Hey, Flenton, welcome, welcome. What's up, guys? How you doing? We're just doing some comic book adventures right now. But thank you so much for the raid, Flenton. Welcome. How you guys doing? Yo, how, how hype was that tournament yesterday? Oh my god, the back and forth, especially the finale. Oh my god, the back and forth, back and forth. It was so good, dude. I was I was hyped throughout that whole tournament. And um, I'm actually, after I finish up the Blue Beetle quest here, I'm about to open those five card packs. I won some card packs yesterday. Those were pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, Giga Chat. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think this might be the last... I think we're pretty close to the end of this quest here. We've done we've done about three or four battles. I think this might be the last one in the Blue Beetle. Paco? My organic host knows you. Blames you. Warning, that is not your friend. Oh my god, so it looks like Paco turned into a beetle as well. The scarab used, uh, used to cure Paco has infected him. Paco has become Blood Beetle. Okay, so that's where the Blood Beetle card comes from. I didn't know. Okay. So this card that everyone's been raving about, this is this is the origins here with Blue Beetle. We got the Blood Beetle. Oh, uh, that's kind of sad though. He like did it to save his friend, and now his friend is like infected. Hopefully we can save Paco here. Kind of tragic, isn't it? Um, we could play Silas. It's a little bit of a waste, but maybe we'll just protect our Scarab for now. I don't think we can. We can't like overheal. the The fun thing about this uh, mode is you never know what's gonna come out, like. You, you know, I'm, I'm playing with these cards. I have no idea what's in the deck, what's going to pop out. So that's kind of fun. Um, okay, what do we got here? We got Paco. Counts as a gold card uh, wherever he is. But you still play bronze to play him. Okay. So here's the thing. If I use tear gas on this lethal card, in, in theory, it doesn't do any damage now. So we should be able to KO it, right? Without... Oh, well, it's not KO'd, but... Uh, okay, but good enough for now. Put this into your... Ooh, oh, oh, I guess you put it back. Hey, sleep same... Uh, so much, uh, thanks so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Happy uh, Labor Day if you guys are in America. And if you guys are not in America, uh, happy Monday. Okay, so on his turn, he's going to get a plus six. And he's summoning a bunch of these scarabs here. Ooh, the reach. That's what we saw in the very first mission. They're coming back. All right, I think we want to take out this this card here. Whoop, whoop. Past 100 followers. I know we just... Oh, man, you guys are awesome. You guys are amazing, honestly. Um, I honestly, I've, I've like... I feel, like, honestly really blessed to have... Uh, I don't know, it's, it's cool to be part of this community, honestly. Like, I, I, I didn't expect to, um, to like this game so much, and so now that, like, I don't know, it's, it's really coming along. I, I, I have been really impressed with you know everything they've been doing, all, all the all the attempts they've been making. Ooh, some big boys here. These missions are a lot of fun, though. Well, 
After a after you play a gold card, charge your leaders. I wonder if that's better. You know what? Let's play this. We'll get ambush. So we can do this. We'll take the upgrade here. We'll play Jamie in the back. Just start knocking away this scarab a little bit. But I think that was the biggest threat we had to take out. He's got six damage to give out. Oh, it changed. Okay. So that that's how he kept he he keeps getting these six threes. The scarabs are are transforming. He's like dropping all these little eggs. These little eggs on us. Okay, cool, but he kept the blue beetle alive. I'm surprised. I, w I will say, I don't think the computer... <laughs> Stop playing uh, uh, Marvel. This is this for life instead. I agree, man. Lately, I've, I've kind of put down Marvel for a little bit now. I, I don't know. I mean, part of it was like I was prepping for the tournament. Uh, but part of it is just like, I'm really enjoying this. You know, it's, it's, very, di it's very different from Snap. It, it really is a totally different game. But um, it is so much fun. Is it a waste to play build a new? Kinda. Draw some cards. Let's just play this for now. All right, we can take this out with no consequences. All right, unfortunately, that it looks like it's gonna transform into uh, the reach again. But we got we got a full board here. We're making some progress. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people with Snap have been complaining about the uh, spotlight caches, and I will say, for me as well, I've had some bad luck with it, and that was a little bit frustrating. Um, there was there was one where I spent like three or four caches, and I didn't even get the spotlight caches. I got, I got, um, I don't know, like a bunch of random cards. Uh, all right, let's do, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, we'll play this. That'll charge our leader. Oh, we got Shazam. Let's go. All right, let's get this upgrade. And I'm not exactly sure what this attack is going to do, but hopefully it'll either do more damage or something here. Oh, okay. Looks like we cleared that. Now we can go right for Blood Beetle here. Let's see if we can't save Paco. Come on, Paco. We're rooting for you. Come on, Paco. Ooh, okay. Hidden? What does this do? After... Infiltrator, uh, Infiltrator Scarab attacks the leader, sacrifice it and summon the Reach. Okay. Well, we should, we actually can, we can finish this right here. Oh, it's hidden. Actually, well, we can, we can just skip right over then and hit the beetle. And that's GG. So I wonder, this might be the last mission. Let's see. Jamie ruthlessly rains blows down on the Scarab, who was once his friend. But Blood Beetle is relentless. Jamie realizes the only way to win is to somehow reach Paco. Desperate, Jamie gives control over to his Scarab, uh, Kaijai Da. The scarab quickly forms a plasma cannon and aims it at Brenda. Deep within the blood beetle, Paco reels and regains control of himself before passing out. And his friend uh, falls to the ground. Uh, Jamie reels at what he's become and what he's done to his friend, his friends and family.
But at the same time, who knows what Kaijai Da could have done in the uh, in the hands of villains. Jamie resolves to use the Scarab's power for good. Jamie's life and the Scarab are forever intertwined as the Blue Beetle. Hey! <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, th so this is what I really wanted. This card back. I kept seeing this card back, and I was like, "Yo, this is awesome." We got the blue. Uh, we got the Blood Beetle card times two, and we got a thousand coins. Let's go. Let's go, folks. And now, now's the fun part here. So we got we got the rewards here. Uh, we can do this in a bit here, but we got a we got a bunch of gold here to use. Uh, we got a bunch of card packs to open, especially uh, from the tournament. Big thanks again to Erlite64 for uh, putting together the tournament. That was no small feat. I know there was like a few little technical hiccups, you know, just with the audio, but trust me, man. Um, I I work in production. I work in like TV and film, and it is not it is not easy to do that stuff, man. He did he did a hell of a job. I hope you guys give him a lot of credit because he deserves it.